Hello everyone, this video is about trigonometric integration on the MF19, you have these formulas the integral of sine is minus cos, integral of cos is sine, integral of second squared is tangent if the angle is um, not simply x but ax plus b such as like 2x, 3x, 4x plus 5 you can just use the um, kind of like the chain rule we divide by the derivative of ax plus b which is a and um, for example here we have sine 2x plus 3 we get minus cos exactly the same divided by the derivative of 2x plus 3 and we can simplify and here we have 3 sine 5x dx so yeah, we can pull the 3 out the integral of sine is minus cos and we divide by 5 don't forget plus c we can just use 1 plus c combine the cosines for cos cos becomes sine in integration so you know because the derivative of sine is cos the integral of cos is sine here we have to divide by one half because it's um, the coefficient of the x here you can recheck by differentiating so when you differentiate sine becomes cos exactly the same angle times one half for the derivative of 1 over 2x so after you simplify 2 times 1 over 2 is 1 so we get 1 third times which is exactly the same as the integrand and now for second squared same concept if this is second squared 3x we divide by 3 second squared 5x we divide by 5 and if it's in this kind of form 4 over cosec I mean cosine squared 7x well cos I mean 1 over cos is the same as secant so this is actually secant squared 7x you can pull the 4 out and the derivative is tangent exactly the same 7x divided by the derivative of 7x which is 7 so this is in the simplest form you can check by differentiating make sure when you differentiate this you get exactly the same as the original integrand that's it i'll see you again next time